All right, let's say you've got some HDV and you want to bring it into your Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve and you discover, hey, it doesn't, it doesn't even see these files. It doesn't support my codec. So you go online, you read about how to, how to fix this problem, and you get stuck here because you're like, what is FF? So let me show you what that is. That's actually a open source converter. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the website and download. Now this is a, a terminal uh, command line type thing. And if you're not familiar with, you know, if you're not a coder, probably going to be intimidated by what you find here. So let me just help you along. And that's why you're here, right? Uh, so download. You don't want the source code because like I said, if you're not a developer, you probably were not going to know what to do with the source code. You don't know how to compile. I'm going to assume at this point. So uh, you pick your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go with Mac. And I'm going to go to the static builds for Mac OS 64-bit and I'm going to download as a zip. So this will give me a build of the latest um, code in a zip file. So let me open that in Finder. We're going to unzip that. And that literally just gives me this. Now that's, again, you might be a little intimidated by what do I do now? So I would suggest you move it to your applications. That's a start. Then the next thing you're going to want to do, and let me show you why. So if I hit command space and type terminal, open a terminal, and if I just type FF, well, actually I need to type applications FFmpeg. And if I just do this, it will say, hey, oh, <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's not what it should say. Uh, what it should say is, hey, I don't trust this thing. You just downloaded this. I don't know if it has malware or not. So uh, because I've already done this, um, it, it, it's okay with it. So, but you're not going to have that same experience the first time you run this. So what you're going to want to do is find the application that you just dragged into your applications folder. You're going to want to right click open. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell your operating system, hey, I trust this. I, I, I'm okay. I, I believe the guy that I saw on YouTube. I, I think he's trustworthy. I saw his thumbnail. He looks trustworthy enough. And it's just going to do that. It's going to crap out because it doesn't know what to do. Um, that's okay. So we're going to Command W, and then we're going to do it over here. Also, if you notice I'm typing really fast, that's because uh, if you hit Tab, it'll complete what you're typing. So if I just type APP Tab, it'll complete the rest of what I want to type because it's just simply looking at file names that are in the current directory and says, oh, I know what you want. And the same thing here, if I just type FF tab, well, assuming I don't have anything else named FF, it's going to pick FFmpeg. So tab is your friend. I can add a slash H and there it is. It gives me the help file. Okay, now let's move on. So we've downloaded and installed FFmpeg and now we go back to our helpful forms and this uh, Brian Worsley, I guess, uh, his suggestion is here's how to rewrap that MT2 file into something usable in Blackmagic Design. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first thing, let's open this up a little bit because I want to have a little more room when it starts spilling out the, the information that I want. So again, let's, uh, I, if I use the up arrow, it'll go through the history of things that I've typed. So I could just hit up arrow once back back and that's that is now calling the application ffmpeg so that's the first thing we want to do the second thing we want to do is give it an input so dash i says what is the input what am i feeding into this command so let me go to finder here and find my sources i'm going to pick this source so if i drag and drop from finder into terminal it will copy the path as you can see there so then i hit a right arrow and so now it copied the path to my source. That's my input source. That's, where, that's what I want to affect. Now I need to take some of the, the information that I got from here. And that is basically what this says is video codec. And the command is copy. In other words, don't do anything. Don't change the video codec. Keep the video codec. Just rewrap. Now the audio codec, as you would, if you 
took the time to read up here, you will see that BMD does not support the audio codec. So we're going to have to convert it to something else. We're going to convert it to an uncompressed wave. And to do that, you say audio codec, PCM, 16-bit, little Indian, Indian or whatever that thing is, and uh, 48 kilohertz, blah, 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 audio, blah, 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 blah. Again, not important. All you need to know is that this will give you uncompressed wave as the output. So it's actually going to convert the audio, but not convert the video. So that's cool. So I'm just going to steal this information here and we're going to paste it here. There we go. So now video codec copy, audio codec convert to wave. Now I need to know where is it going? So again, I can drag and drop, drag, drag, drug, drag. I can drag and drop from finder. And this is my destination. That's where I want it to go. Hit the right arrow, go back a little bit here, slash. And then what do I want it to be called? So I'm just going to keep the same name, except now I'm going to add .mov to the end of it. So you can see here's the original name and here's my new name. So I just copied the name and changed the extension to .mov. Uh, just a little note here. So you see these backslashes? That is a, uh, what's called an escape character. And what that, that allows you to have spaces in the names of files and folders. So if you're wondering why are these backslashes here, and that's simply saying it's an escape character that says the next space character is allowed because I'm considering it to be space and not a divider between commands. Here we are, FFmpeg, the input is this file. I'm not changing the video codec. I am changing the audio codec, and this is where I want it to go. I hit enter. It does some really cool stuff. Uh, I suppose now you can go play Global Thermonuclear War or some other game if you like. And uh, when it's done, which will be actually pretty quick, it's actually pretty quick because all it's doing is converting the audio. It's not re it's not re-encoding the video. All right, while we're waiting, um, I'll give you a riddle. What kind of bow lives in the sky and can't be tied? That's right, rainbow. Yeah, all right. So here we are, 10.42, 10.26. So it did get a little bit bigger, but not much bigger. But here's the all important thing is you can now bring it into Resolve. All right, so you say to yourself, I've got 119 of these, I need to convert them. So how would I go about doing them all at once? So let me show you that. So what you wanna do is, again, let's open a terminal. And you can do, uh, first of all, let's go to the directory where the files are. So I'm gonna type CD, which is change directory, change directory, space. And then I'm gonna drag the path to the terminal window. And that's gonna be in the directory of where the originals are. And I can see that if I type LS, that'll give me a listing. And it shows me all the MPEGs. I can do LS minus L. That gives me a long listing if I wanted to see more details. All right, so I know I'm in the right directory. I'm now going to, first of all, let me introduce you to a for next loop. So for example, what we're gonna do is for F in all the files that have MPEG at the end. So that's the, that's the beginning of the loop that says for every file that has MPEG, do, and in this case, I just want to print the names of the files. So in this case, we can just use the very, whoops. <laughs> I hit enter a little too soon there. Um, we could just use the variable that we established here as the name of the file. So it's going to use the name of the file and put that in the variable F. And then if I say print the variable F, it'll just print the names of the files. Now, if I wanted to take off the file extension, which I'm gonna to need to do, I would then say, well, instead of uh, string F, I would say string F percent MPEG, and then that's going to take off the MPEG, and then I wanna add MOV, okay? Uh, what did I do wrong here? I forgot the quote. 
All right, semicolon done. Done indicates the end of the loop. Go ahead and do it. All right, there we go. So this command now is going to take all the names in the directory, strip off the mpeg, and replace it with mov. And then we get our file names with .mov. Now that's important because fmpeg uh, uses the name of the file on the output to determine what kind of file it's going to create. So we need it to have that .mov extension. Now, let's go ahead and put all of this together to create the wonderful complete command. And we're going to say for all the files that end in mpeg, now of course, whatever you're converting, you would change that to whatever you want. If you had files that ended in mov and you wanted to convert them to wavs, you know, you, you can figure that out. That's kind of why I'm explaining it. All right, so do, now instead of just printing the names, I actually want to do the conversion. So this is where we go back to applications fm mpeg the input this time is going to be the variable f. So in this case, the name of the input is going to be whatever iteration of this for next loop that I've now created. Uh, for the rest of it, I'm going to simply steal the parameters. These are the parameters. As we discussed before, the codec copy, don't convert. Audio convert to wave, okay? So all that is the same. And then for the output, what I want to do is say, use whatever the input file name was, except remove the MPEG and replace it with MOV. Quote, semicolon, D-O-N-E. All right, so here's what it's going to do. It's going to say for every file that has an MPEG, convert it, replace the file name with the same name, remove the MPEG, and replace it with MOV. Now, I just realized by looking at that, I missed the percentage character there. Okay, so remove MPEG, replace with MOV, done. Boop. And there we go. That will convert every single file in this directory. It will be converted to a MOV. The codec of the video will remain the same and the audio will get converted to WAV and it will now do every single folder in this directory, every single file in the directory. All right, well, I hope this helps and uh, have a good day.